tool belt skits and join me on this old plank. I'm your host, Woodworking Melly. Today we'll be building a large wooden badger, which makes an excellent gift for a loved one, yes. Master Richie, any luck deciding what you'll be getting your father for his birthday tomorrow? Gosh, no, Cadbury. <sighs> what do I do? I don't want to buy him a gift. I'd rather make him something with my own hands. It'll be more special that way. Well, if I may make a suggestion, sir. Hey, this is a great idea, Cadbury. Dad loves chocolate. I bet I could make him the best tasting chocolate bar ever. So, you want to make your father a chocolate bar, eh? Not just any old chocolate bar, Chef Pierre. I want to make the world's greatest chocolate bar ever. Ah, in order to make the world's greatest chocolate bar, you must use the world's greatest chocolate. <coughs> and according to my recipe for the world's greatest chocolate bar, there's only one place in the whole world where you can find the world's greatest chocolate. But none has ever braved the perils of the jungle to find it. Not till now. Lost Village, here we come! Wow, we found it! This is gonna be easier than I thought. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, sir. I'm Richie Rich, and this is Cadbury, and we'd like to buy some of your chocolate. Umbella, hula, hula. Oh, no. He doesn't speak English. Uh, fear not, Master Richie. I, uh, <clears throat> I happen to speak a little Marubi. <laughs> Yaga Ganda, Yama Hala Wandu. Oh, Ma Wo Gato Gato. I say that, that's a good one, old chap. What do you say, Cadbury? Well, <laughs> quite simply, sir. His chocolate is not for sale. However, the native chief is willing to make a trade for a pound of it. What does he want us to trade him for it? An Abe Lincoln lunchbox, sir. He needs it to complete his collection. Abdullah Ugg on his head. What shall I tell him, Master Richie? Tell him it's a deal. But, sir, how do you propose to locate an Abe Lincoln lunchbox? By surfing the net, of course. Cowabunga, dude. Whoa, that was a gnarly wave, dude. Check it out. Here's a congressman who owns an Abe Lincoln lunchbox. Bravo, Master Richie. Let's go hang a left. We're heading for Washington. Oh, yes, sir. So, gentlemen, let's put it to a vote. Nay. Yay. Yay. Nay. Yeah. Nay. Excuse me, Congressman. Nay. I saw on the internet Nay. that you own an Abe Lincoln lunchbox. Is that right, sir? Heck yeah. yeah. I carry my fried chicken and pork rinds in it every darn day. Isn't she pretty? Yes, sir. In fact, Yay. it's so pretty that I'd love to trade you for it. Shoot! There's only one thing in this whole world I'd trade my honest aid for. What, sir? Name it. An autographed... Oh, shoot. Oh, hold on. Nay! Now, where was I? Oh, oh, yeah. I'll trade you this here lunchbox for one of those autographed pictures of my favorite movie star, Miss Taylor Todd. Oh, well, I'm afraid I really don't see how we could possibly... We got a deal! Hollywood, here we come. This endeavor is growing more complicated by the moment, sir. Yeah, but Dad's worth it. Besides, Cadbury, as soon as we get Miss Todd's autograph, we're home free. No way you're getting Miss Todd's autograph. Not gonna happen, no can do in a word. Uh -uh. Mr. Brimstein, sir. Call me Marty. Crutch to me. Crutch to me. Uh, Mr. Marty, sir, we'd be willing to trade you something for Miss Todd's autograph. Oh, dear me. Here we go again. <laughs> oh, don't make me laugh while I'm working my abs. You want to trade with me? You want to trade with me? Forget it, kid. Look, I have caviar right here in my desk drawer. You're losing, huh? Looky here. I have an unlisted home phone number. So private, so secret, I don't even know the number. Groovy, huh? Groovy. Uh, yes, um... Garuvi, in indeed. So forget about trying to make a trade, because there's nothing you have that I could possibly want. <sighs> Cat's eye. Groovy. You didn't get this from me. We did it, Cadbury. Garuvi. Uh, I mean, um, splendid. 
Now, all we have to do is fly back to Washington and trade this for the Abe Lincoln lunchbox. And then fly back to South America and trade that for the chocolate. And then fly back home to bake my dad's birthday present. Hey, kid, what's the matter? All I wanted in the world was to get in the studio and meet Taylor Todd and get her autograph. But the guard said... Get a life. <laughs> no, I'll never get it. Yes, you will. Sally. Gee, thanks. You're the nicest kid in the whole world. <laughs> Cadbury, you're getting rather misty-eyed. <laughs> Well, you may have just lost any hope of getting your father's birthday present, but I know he would be extremely proud of you, Master Richie. And so am I. It's... 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 Huh. That was a very generous thing you did, young man. And such generosity should be... rewarded. Will this do? Thanks! Gotta go! Come to Papa. Thanks! Gotta go! Abdullah, um, honest aid. Thanks. Gotta go. Sacre huh? bleu. I don't believe it. You found it. Happy birthday, Dad. Why, thank you, son. Happy Very birthday, dear. I love Dad. <laughs> Mom. Oh. Mm, I don't believe I've ever tasted chocolate this good. And you even made it yourself? Yep, with a little help from Cadbury. Gosh, I hope you two didn't go to too much trouble. Oh, no, Dad. It was no trouble at all. Right, Cadbury? Absolutely right, son. <laughs> <laughs>